And we, Cabin no, water. Roland, all right. Uh, can I have my shirt? Yes, yeah, yeah, please. Just uh, two minutes, and I go for you it. You can't give me two minutes. He went. He went. No, uh, I'll give on high minutes. speed. I give me the two minutes. Doctor Bomia, His Excellency, is not involving himself in Galamse. So, if you want to tag him with Galamse and corruption, you, you please. Will you allow me to speak? You can defend everyone. Yes. What is going to be against this? When you are, I can be radical. Oh, no, 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 Malik, Malik, please, don't think that. No, 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 <laughs> Did you see President Kufado directly involved in Kalamse? What do you mean? He says by, by implicit. But what can I implicit? <laughs> Looking at you sit there, you can all kinds of things. And you say we should just allow that. <laughs> that is not my style. With the greatest respect to your viewers. I don't like the way he's behaving. And uh, people uh, he has have you read the report. Please, I haven't read the report. I'm okay. confronted with what I'm seeing. Okay, okay. Media That's, bring the topics out. That's we'll right. discuss please it. read the report. Let me so, push so, it to no, you. no, please. I'm talking, don't interject me. So what I'm saying is that. The issue we have in our hand, the president cannot say that he has failed. He's seen this as a challenge, and this challenge must be fight at home. It is quite big, and those involved, and all that. Those ordinary people who are collecting the sand and throwing and all those things, they are just laborers. <laughs> but the real people are there. They are with the president, and according to... They the should deal with, with them. Water. So because what? all this attack is coming to you. think it is easy to come here to defend? That's what I'm, I'm surprised. Not I'm surprised that you are shielding all this. I'm not shielding. You are doing well. I'm not shielding. But I know the president is doing his best. My name is Pen Dream TV. Pen Dream TV, dear. Oh, oh, yeah, I'm going to have a Pen Dream TV. Uh, pen Dream TV, dear. I'm going to have a Pen Dream TV. I'm going to have a Pen Dream TV. I'm going to have a morning show. I'm going to have a Pen Dream TV. I'm going to have a Pen Dream TV. I'm going to have Yadi bila mu se mungkin ada mungkin semua faham judgement ini bila awak komen section awak yang mahu mahu yang punya majuin tu, apa insyaAllah sih ya. Ayer NDC Deputy Communication Director Ayer Fen Malik Basin Tali, oni ni kuatet Titus Glover, ah ayer MPP ni, ah aku kau siap show ni so. Na, aku mau kasar about, nanti aku berkaya ayer Kevin aku beri tela, ayer skandal bi, apa ayer Galamse hu, ana bra friends and professor from Pong Watson, he did 36 page documents be about PSA. Galamse na he double years for na he Galamse no, ana our society president ni 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 anu ni ni pa be bre ya umu ya involved with Galamse ya mama na juma ngoso, na we na he ano pa he umu discuss issue no, ana Malik he kan he kan se so galamse wa gana hapa di ya kaki mpinsa ya nini president haku fuadu ya na ya baumia ya mwini mdi ya kosuo ya mwini na kase president haku fuadu ya mwina mwye galamse pe na ya ni kwa te titles global ni kuu kwa pai na onosu t3 maza ya kaki kiti 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 ya kaki adini ya adani nito kwa pa na ya t4 wede pa kunyo bi tenaso na Share argument of course between two parties. But I can describe it as strange. You want a bipartisan approach on this one, and I know that the presidency has given a response to this um, leaked letter. Of course, that had been sitting on the desk of the president for the last two years, and the description he gives it. I'm sure you're also very much aware. And say the CID should go ahead. So if this is under investigation, why do you want uh, another probe? You see, first of all, uh, good morning to your viewers. This is not the first time we are having an investigation, a corruption investigation in this country. Mm -hmm. This is not the first time we have having a report on corruption under this very regime. What baffles me and what surprises the entire citizenry is that ever since Mr. Akufuado assumed office as president of the Republic of Ghana, mm -hmm ever since the MPP assumed office as a government in this country, there hasn't been a single time where we've had a corruption expose or a corruption report where either the president has not been mentioned, the vice president's name has not been mentioned, 
or the presidency has not been indicted on that. There hasn't been a single time. What do you mean by that? In different reports we've had, mm. from the Anas expose number 12, okay. where Nyantechi, a president of the Ghana Football Association, confessed that he has been acting as a middleman for the president, the vice president, and the entire presidency, where four million dollars given to President Akufado could just put him in your pocket, where three million dollars given to Dr. Baumia could get him nodding his head all day, and where some amounts of money is given to people could give you contracts even if you were not qualified. We've had the same Anasari Miyao Ganamse economy, where it was exposed that one Charles Edubwai, a, a, a finance minister at the presidency, confessed that 200 and 2.5 million mm -hmm. could be given to Baumia in order to win you some concessions. And this was said by a government official. Right after that, I'm sure we all heard what happened to him and what have you. But he stated that this is a man who had been working with them at the presidency, and this is a man who was caught on tape saying that you only needed 2.5 million dollars to bribe our vice president of the Republic of Ghana. From that point, you media men have also undertaken various levels of investigation. We had a, a colleague journalist, Rasmus uh, Donko of Joy FM, where he went down there, he exposed Galamse campaigns in this country. And if you remember that particular incident, in fact, of which video I'm sure your network has, you had security personnel attacking the team that was mandated to fight illegal mining activities in this country. They were beaten, they were attacked, in fact, they were, they, were, they were embarrassed, and they were driven away. And not a single investigation was conducted in that particular matter. From that point, I think the international bodies decided to take interest in this. The latest of it all, which yesterday got me very surprised, and I nearly shed tears because I saw pictorial evidence, I saw videos, I saw, I, I, I heard things I couldn't believe with my very own ears. We had an Al Jazeera investigation from the investigative unit, our unit, where they had a gold mafia by name Alester Matthias. This man, in an interview or in a dealing with a Chinese personnel who had been used, I mean, to listen to all these dealings in this country, confessed that one, President Akufuado was his very good friend, very, very close friend. They had very, very tight relationship. Two, he had won contracts in this country. And of course, we know who awards contracts in this country. Contracts that had been bloated to a tune of $20 million was won in this country. And in return, all he did was that he assured the government, he assured people of the presidency that I was going to keep $20 million down for you. Anytime you needed it, I would be willing to give it out to you. And this was how they won shady contracts in this country. He also, he also confessed that one ton of gold was exported, I mean, to a tune of $40 million or so, was being exported, smuggled from this country every month. And he was behind it. And government officials, and that was where he said President Akufado was his friend and they knew each other's dealings and what have you, was smuggled out of this country every month. After that, and Roland, mm -hmm. I'm particular about this because Professor Frimpon Boata, probably was a colleague minister when Mr. Titus Global was also minister. We know what the record of this man, we know what this man has done historically. I read the report, 36 page, and if you go step by step, it appears shocking how the presidency has been muddied, how the presidency has been ridiculed, how the presidency has been lowered and tattered, and no one seems to respect whatever is happening again in this country. Why are you borrowing your on, you, In 2019, you decided to put a ban on mining and mm -hmm. forest reserves. Mm -hmm. The president did it. It was all everywhere. He said he has put a ban on forest reserves. 47 forests were stopped and what have you. They said excavators were being bent. They went out there and doing all sorts of things. Then today, we are finding out that that letter that was written by the president was a scam. It was meant to mislead us during that particular what period. Do you, what do you mean by that? I'm, I'm going to explain that. During that particular period, the president's nephew, the president's darling boy, Gabi Asarachiridako, 
was in line with a company called C and J Alaska Company. And within that particular period, they were found mining in the Upper Pram Forest Reserve. Where they oh, were didn't engaged. Get that. Uh, says uh, that he was legal practice. I'll explain that. Uh, legal services. I'll explain that. And it's the, allowed. It's the duty of the lawyer, Mr. Frimpong Boateng, stated emphatically that Gabi calling him was wrong. And I agree that it was wrong because he, he said he wasn't the CEO of Minerals Information Center. And if he wanted any information, he should have gone to the Minerals Commission. But other than that, the president himself issued a letter and stopped mining in forest reserves. Mm -hmm. Gabi that was the nature of the president. If they had no hand in this particular illegal activity, he should have known head on that the company was engaged in an illegal act because the president had issued a letter stopping all mining in forest reserves. That was one. Two, Professor Frimpong Boati has also stated that other persons at the presidency, an example is Lord Kome, an example is um, 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 Captain Koda, have consistently called the anti galamse Tax Force and asked that they release excavators that were seized from illegal miners polluting our water bodies. These are people of the presidency. These are people who should respect the laws of this country. Repeatedly, they have called. And thirdly, he has also stated that when even a journalist was arrested, and cited for money laundering because all Galamse returns were being stored in his account, said Mandi. We had a person like the senior minister of South Mafo calling and asking them to dismiss the case and that whatever activity was ongoing there should be covered and should not be exposed. And Professor Frimpo Martin found this surprising because he felt that this was a government that had a heart for the forest reserves of this country. He thought that this was a government that was sensitive to the plights of, of, of indigents in this country, especially with regards to how our water bodies are being deteriorated. He thought that this was a president that felt the pain of people who are to struggle and even getting drinking water in this country. Mali, and he was surprised. It's the same the president Another that says point, that from the I, outset. It must be pointed out the document being discussed was not an official document. So what I want to ask them, and if you want to lambast this, is the last point that was raised in our presser that Professor Frimpong Boateng mm -hmm. had stated that the president's house in Chebi, the youth organizer for Chebi, MPP youth organizer, had engaged in Galamse to the extent that he traced the gold, he mined and finally broke the president's wall and was mining in the president's garden in Chebi. Did you read that or you didn't read that? I read that. Was that hearsay? Was the president aware of this? Professor Frimpong Boateng stated that he took the committee to visit the president's house to stop that particular boy and to plant the grass again and rebuild the wall. Are you aware that the president's house anywhere in this country is a security zone? How did they manage to break the wall of the president to the extent that they were mining for gold in the president's backyard, well, in his garden? According to they the, were engaging in galamse in the garden. It is not talking to and you. And then and then their work affected Look, the wall. Uh, it, it affected, and they got into the yard, and they were mining in the president's compound. So where he probably parks his cars, they said, "Oh, park this car well," and they started mining, and they were mining there for months. And you tell me, President Kufado wasn't aware of this. Other than that, after the pres professor from Pombo had reported even the incident to the president, do you hear what he said? He said, I'll deal with it. When they reported the senior minister's actions to him, you hear what he said? He said, I'll deal with it. When they reported the Sanford Marfa's actions to him, you hear what he said? He said, I'll deal with it. I'll deal with it in under three consecutive times. Which particular instance did he deal with this particular matter? You see, Roland, we cannot... I don't know why he sent it we to the cannot, CID. We can, uh, it was a because report, he needs was a verdict. He said the, uh, uh, <laughs> the presidency says the letter didn't have an address. See, even though... It, a letter that was given to the chief of staff didn't have an well, address. That's, that's nice. A letter that was repeatedly stated at cabinet. And Professor from Paul Martin stated that even at one of the cabinet meetings, he pointed out to people who were engaged in illegal mining on the table. And the president pretended he never heard them. You see, Roland, we cannot continuously pretend that we don't know that President Akufado himself is engaged in illegal mining in this country. We cannot continuously oh, shield. I, I have given you instances. If his backyard, if his yard is being, I mean, if Galamsey activities are being conducted in his compound and he sits a deaf ear, he sits unconsent or it, who instructed them to bypass even the security zone and then start mining in his in his compound. And so, you see, we cannot continuously so shield. it's a conclusion you're drawing, this, but it, it doesn't mean that the president I, is involved I, I, in I have read the report. 
I know what I'm saying. I can confidently say that they have a happy president. Kufuadu has a hand in this. I can confidently say that uh, the vice president, Dr. Baumi, has a hand in this. I can confidently say that the vice pres the president's nephew, Gabi Ochirudako, has a hand in this. And all these people have formed a gang. And yesterday, we put a photo across. And the heading was, know your Galamse campings in this country. These are people who are bound on damaging the, the soils of this country. These are people who are bound on condemning our forest reserves. These are people who are bound on destroying all the water bodies in this country. And nobody, nobody should attempt shielding any of these people. I would say here, I would repeat it, that they don't win well for this country. Per the report as released by President Akufado's own appointee, former minister, indicting he himself indicting his family members indicting his vice president there is nothing that could be Malik, done a report that, that than, uh, the same president he says that is not an official well document. to get to the bottom of this we have instructed that we want to have a bipartisan probe into a letter that the president threw under his cabinet for two years Why and didn't act upon it i mean for two years he never acted you on it literally it means, <laughs> literally like... it means that he threw it under his carpet <laughs> we are asking for a bipartisan investigation into this. No, I, i'll repeat it on any day because i know what i'm talking about i know president Akufado. i know what he can do in this in this particular instance and in this particular matter so far as our forest reserves have been destroyed, so far as our water bodies have been contaminated, I can state on authority that we will not relent until we have a bipartisan televised approach in this particular matter. Roland, you can mark my words on any day, we'll get to the bottom of this matter. Mm. It, it, it looks like, Mr. Titus Glover, a lot of um, barrage of criticism is uh, being held at the president, uh, as well as the presidency, for a lack of inaction or perhaps a uh, stakeholders who are unsatisfied about the action that has been taken since this document was leaked. Yeah, and we know Kelvin you, Taylor you, started it you, and subsequently it's uh, engulfed everybody. The opportunity, I've listened to my younger brother and when it's a tax and all that. And I'm confident and hopeful that President Nando is not corrupt. You cannot corrupt him. So all the recommendations that he's sitting here and talking about mm. will not fly. Okay. At least it's on record that you have a former president and vice president. All right. Yeah, I'm told, I'm told we have a difficulty with your sound. We apologize for that. So we'll play an insert and then we'll be back. I could just make a second point. The true story. The true story is that uh, at the start of the Operation Vanguard thing, the soldiers were uh, supposed to arrest the excavators mm. and they go into the forest where they are doing the uh, mining and they remove the control board. Okay. So if they remove 20 control boards today, they will report mm. that they have immobilized okay. 20 control boards. Once they are removed, there's no way those excavators can move. Can move. But then when you go away, they'll bring new <laughs> new um control <laughs> boards <laughs> and freeze them and then and, and off they go ah. so we got a report that they had immobilized over 750 something uh, uh excavators so we appointed somebody to go around and check when we went around i think we got about 150 200 that we could see Okay. The rest had either been given to the owners or Vanished. they put in some yeah. extra, pass. extra pass and move them away. Okay. And then somebody put it out there, ah, from Bob Martin has taken 500 scale. What am I going to do with it? There was an orchestrated scheme, even within the party and the government. To get you out. To get you out. So that, look, why is it when I left, now everybody is in the forest. At that time, we dare not enter the forest. Yeah. You know. But as I said, I don't want to go into details now because I have a lot to say on that. Mm. But let me tell you that I did not take one excavator for anything. And they know the truth. Now things are coming up. We know those who are um, behind, behind it and the party people who are there, people in government, including Jubilee House, who are doing Galamse and so on, even now. And very, very much so, uh, an indicting interaction he had with uh, GTV. And subsequently, this report also been leaked and now engulfing from Kevin Taylor 
and everybody else has just caught on with it and scrutinizing this document and well we fact, Malik Basintali also had his, uh, his uh, fair share of his initial comment and now Daniel Nikwater titles Glover is having his Roland so, I, I was saying that sitting here and listening to Malik yeah you like it and his attack on the president his excellency his vice that they are corrupted they are involved in Galamse there is no evidential proof to show that the president is involving in the work of a gal I'm saying. And I can assure him that it's on record that you have a former vice president whose president at the time organized an investigation to be conducted by his head over an embryo plane in Brazil. You remember? And the composition of that committee, we are told, is one brigadier retired General Aloti, uh, Mr. Abua, and George Amwa. So when you're talking about corruption, we need to be very careful as to how you attack people. But going forward, you know my position on Galamse. Roland, since this story What's broke your up, position? And I am not in support of those who are doing Galamse. Neither is the president also supporting those who are destroying our, our forest and our water bodies and all that. So, so why so, didn't you ask so, on the um, Please, I'm, pe I'm begging you. You allow the gentleman to have his take and he did all kinds of, of things that he did. So clearly, the position of bipartisan for me is not going to help. You know why? Why not? Because the political colorization we're not going to get. Because naturally, when you go and sit and want to, people will begin to take sides. Do you understand? So institutions of states who have been mandated to investigate issues of this nature must be allowed to do their work. Uh, and Malik started by saying that uh, Nyantechi, when his expose came, and uh, he was somebody who is in the frenzy mood, and he's talking, and he mentioned the president's name, so because of that, the president is corrupt? Is that what the Malik is saying? So another, another Galamse with the Dubai and sitting in a hotel somewhere, this entrapment, you go and trap people, and you call this as, as, as investigation, and he mentioned the vice president who is sitting quietly somewhere, you cannot attack the vice president's integrity or the president's integrity when somebody is going up doing their own thing. Clearly, I don't support that. And I disagree with the position of what the NDC are going and but talking about. But the president said he used an principle. Fine. Today you are dissociating yourself from Please, but, but, but sitting here, if somebody come and tell you that you are corrupt, they have given you a bribe, without any evidence, any proof, then you go to bed, you run out that. So is that the right thing? He support the so Anas this principle. is Anas principle, what has been for me, is an entrapment. Even the law talks about it. You cannot go and record somebody without his consent. I'm not the lawyer. <laughs> but this is what the law tells us. You can't go and record somebody without his consent and you come back and use it against him. Is that the case? But clearly, I have a problem. And the fact is that all those who are involved in the dissipation and the destruction of a forest should be dealt with because me i'm a guy unfortunately for me i'm not from the hinterlands do you understand so anybody who anybody who has got direct in hand look at all this that's going on in the past we we're blaming the chinese but the chinese when they are, they arrive in kotoka nobody holds their hands and direct them to the forest areas it is our own Ghanaian people who leads them there and this time, Professor and, Afrin and, Pogwati and, states and, key and, people, like you see, individuals at Jubilee you see, House. You, see, you know am, them, they are I your am, friends. I am happy we are discussing about this Galamse thing. Because the fight for Galamse, it is not one man's show. And Galamse didn't start the days of the Nadu Dango Kufado's era. It started way back, including their time. So the question is, what did you also do? Because Galamse was there. When Anado's government was fighting Galamse, in the 2020 election, you and your people, including my very good brother, Kukubai, you were in the forest, uh, championing people to do Galamse, to cause destruction to the environment what, and all that. Why did they do that? Why did, because of votes? Where because did of votes. that? Was... In, in one of the forest areas. It's all over social Where? media. Hmm. I don't know the area. But Either Ashanti. I saw it. I saw it. Where he was addressing Galamse, mm -hmm. yes, Kokubai, not you. Kokubai. They were telling the people, go and do the Galamse and go and vote for your mama. When he comes, he will allow you to do the Galamse. Is that what Kokubai is? That is exactly what he said. I will push you, I'll push the, the video to you. Do you understand? So if you have a government in his era, Galamse has been so 
topical, so serious. And for me, I love the discussion that is going on. That we all admit that Galamse is not the best way to go. And by so, sin than that, than please, that but that's, that's we the cannot raise our hand in despair and say that because it is going on, we should run away from it. For which his own people, they have been fingered. Roland, I am coming. Hmm. I am coming. The man is saying that, look, I will not run away. Do you know that because of this Galamse, we lost most of our votes in our seats because we're fighting the Galamse, yes? We are fighting the Galamseyers. We lost the, what they call it, uh, Takwan Swayeb. We lost a uh, Diaso, upper, 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 Dinja West. We didn't lose Takwan Swayeb. No, sorry, we lost the uh, uh, Prisian Valley. Sorry. Okay. We nearly lost Takwan Swayeb by a, a, a slim margin. But Prisian Valley, we lost that seat. Upper Dinja West, we lost that seat. The presidential vote even, even dwindled. All because of the way we were chasing and fighting Galamseyers in the way they are destroying the environment. So clearly, the president has, is tight because he is determined to make sure you fight the Galamseyers. president, who is the commander in chief of the Ghana Armed Forces, uh, the president who, at that commissioning of this whole initiative, says he's put his presidency on the line because he has all these powers, said that his hands are tight. Who told you that? Roland, if he put his presidency on the line, didn't you see that we nearly lost the election? Because of the it cannot Galamse. be through Galamse. So please, it has to be maybe please, the government has please, lost favor please. with the people. Go and check the record, the data, the vote in those Galamse areas, because of the way we are fighting the Galamse menace. And you can tell you that our vote dwindled so drastically in those Galamse in areas. Tapa, for example, you had an independent candidate, and so the lady um, affected the way the overall. The lady is a Galamseya, so she's being sponsored by those Galamseyas to come and take the seat from us. What do you mean by the lady? Like She's Galamse. involved in Galamse. The lady was neck deep in the Galamse. I'm not making excuses for all the things. I'm not that making excuses. I'm saying that fighting Galamse is not one man business. It involves everybody. The president, his appointees, the security services, and everybody in the on the ground to make sure that these Galamse menace were able to deal with the matter. If somebody has gone to involve himself, um, um, Malik is saying that uh, Bati mentioned the name of some people who called to allow them to release their, their, their excavators to them. It is, it is the work of whatever investigating body that will be established to make sure they deal with them, to see their involvement in these things. Because Primbo Bati will be given the opportunity to come and say whatever he has to say. This is a report that he has generated and he has given to the chief of staff. That is what he claims to, to, to say. So clearly for me, like discussion you the media you have done so wonderfully well to make sure well, you come out the president who decided not to take the right no 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 roland that is not that is not the, that is not the, that is not the issue so clearly when the matter has come he has referred to the police cid what the, the president cannot investigate himself can he investigate the galaxy yes so yeah. he has given to the police that please this is what has come to my attention i'll be grateful okay. if you go into it they are cause for they are cause for a bipartisan approach you said no now, there are also calls for a commission of inquiry. Well, the commission of inquiry, I'll, I'll, I'll go for it. The police is there. The special prosecutor is equally there yeah. that they can deal with this matter. There will be issues of criminality and, and, and whatever. If the, the special prosecutor, the police CID is all equally handled, they need to speed up whatever uh, uh, facts and recommendation that they have, they should bring it up. We need to bring a finality to this, this Galamse uh, uh, issues that has been discussed over here. So for me, I will not support anybody who goes to destroy the environment. Mm. So, 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 uh, you understand? Uh, so, so everybody must have a fair hearing mm -hmm. as to whatever is being discussed when it comes to the issue of Galamse. You talk about Gabi Ochilidaku. I've seen the banter between Frimpong Bwating and Gabi. Gabi, he accused Gabi in his, in his report that Gabi called him to direct him what to say. And I have watched Gabi on your set when you took the videos and his audio from City. That was he's a lawyer. As a normal lawyer, if you are called to render a service, definitely you do some 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 work. No. So if that is what from Bombardi assume or think that he's interfering, then he's he's he's, he's unfortunate. R do you understand? So clearly, mm. so clearly we need to be a bit patient, give everybody a good hearing so that people can also speak what they know about the matter. I can't just get up and start accusing without giving you a fair, 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 fair hearing for an opportunity for you to express yourself. Other than that, we'll be accusing people forcefully. I believe 
that a bipartisan is not the right way to go. Either a commission of inquiry or the police CID or the special prosecutor who do it. But there's a report I, I, that's two years old. I'm, I'm surprised that, first of all, I subject myself to be investigated. You are not in power. No, I, I subject. I'm just giving a scenario. Okay, okay. You have refused that you will never subject yourself to investigation. After my investigation, I was exonerated. You have still refused that you will subject yourself. Then I'm the one being called corrupt because I subjected myself. Uh, you, are, you are relating this uh, to the fact that he claimed that President Mahama subjected himself to be investigated in a particular matter and was exonerated. And by so doing, <laughs> President Mahama is corrupt. What kind of logic is that? But Akufuadu, President Akufuadu, has refused. Dr. Baumia has refused in the Nyantechi matter. President Akufuadu was supposed to stand an investigation. He refused to avail himself to the CID. And on repeated cases, if he's a man, like President Mahama was a man, he should subject himself to six-hour investigation. And you will see the kind of things that will be unraveled in this particular matter. The second point well, is that, that Mr. Mr. I, I would explain that Mr. Glover <laughs> keeps referring to the fact that um, why is President, so if President Akufuado's name is mentioned, does it necessarily mean he's corrupt? I've given you series of investigative pieces. Why? We have a population of 30 million. So anybody just gets up and feels that President Akufuado's name is so nice. So let me keep repeating it. Why is it that they don't mention President Akufuado's name in churches? Why is it that they don't mention it any time they are speaking of good things? But any time they speak of corruption, any time they speak of Galamsey, his name, one, Dr. Baumia, two, why? And we keep hearing it. And you think it's not worrying enough well, to ask the official position Blumberg. of government, the all, all point, these individuals are just happening and popping. The third point is They're that, just bluffing. You, you see, when we talk of Galamsey being conducted or undertaken in President Akufado's garden, it is not just as if we wrote it on paper, so Galamsey being undertaken. A whole excavator was carried to the president's garden. A whole excavator. That is Galamsey. Let me, I just want to give a scenario. And the excavator was digging and working in the president's backyard. And making noise. And making noise. And President Akufuado says, I never saw it. I was sitting there, I was tired. I never heard an excavator in the security zone in President Akufuado's garden. They broke his wall and entered and they were digging. And you think this man knows nothing about it? Look, I've listened to Mr. Glover. But the president and doesn't live there. I, I, oh, but he doesn't go to Chebi. He doesn't have anybody guarding his house. I've told you that anywhere the president has a house is a security zone. He doesn't go there. People were living close to him at Nima. Just uh, uh, about 100 meters. They decided to evacuate all of them and said they couldn't live there again. You remember that it was a security zone. But somebody carried a bulldozer and an excavator to your yard and the person was digging and mining Galamsi. And you said you knew nothing about it. Look, Mr. Glover, we can decide to do all the propaganda about this particular matter. But there is no way you exonerate President Akufuado or Dr. Baumia in this particular matter. Look, but the Professor president Fumbo directly Martin, has not been mentioned. Who, who told you so? So how does he become complicit? Who told you the president hasn't been mentioned? You didn't see President Akufuado's house in JBB mentioned. You didn't who's well, I, I did the house. See that. So I it did, wasn't mentioned. I didn't see the portions matter. where they said they had an You didn't see portions there. where they said they reported corrupt and gal corrupt galamsayers to the president. And he said, I'll deal with it, and nothing was done in that matter. You didn't see How that. Does that make you didn't complex. see a report being given to the president, and within two years, he decided not to act up on it. You didn't see that. You didn't see people sit on tape and say that the president, if you give the vice president $2.5 million, you get a free concession. You didn't hear that from people who were working at the presidency. You didn't hear that. You didn't hear the president's nephew being said that he has called people on a number of occasions to allow that people should mind. In forest reserves, it was a the lawyer. president's it was a lawyer. Oh no, but if you are acting as a lawyer, you act for your client in good faith. And so, if your client is wrong, you tell your client is wrong. In this particular matter, the, or the lawyer knew that the president had issued a ban on mining and forest reserves. Yet he decided to call the committee and question them why they, they were sacking people from that particular forest. You didn't know that it was the president's nephew who was engaged in this. I have said that. Look, this matter will, will get to the bottom of it. Mr. Glover may decide to agree to a bipartisan investigation into this matter or not. But so long as the NDC survives and the NDC is concerned in this matter, we will have a bipartisan I don't understand. You mean that if we have had before, uh -huh. where the health minister, if you remember, under the Sputnik V vaccine procurement, <sighs> Al Maktoum was asked after he was the, the, the health minister was indicted before the committee, a bipartisan committee. Al Maktoum was asked to refund $2.5 million. You remember?
we have realized that that is the only way to get to the bottom of corrupt practices in this country and president akufado this will be a text case he won't escape this particular matter you cannot destroy our water bodies and go free you cannot destroy our forest reserves and go free i have given you instances where the president appears unconcerned about this uh, fight against illegal mining i've given you instances where the president's family members are, are being named are being mentioned the president people surrounding the presidency are being mentioned and named in this particular matter and yet the president appears unconcerned and mr glover thinks that okay president mama was investigated and exonerated so this person i mean we won't belittle this matter this is a serious matter look reading through professor from paul Martin's report what shocked me was even the 500 missing excavators that could not be accounted for i wept when i read that portion and in fact even in the tape you played he repeated it he explained how 500 excavators people were selling them people at the presidency he named people of the mpp someone like eko Usi, someone like uh, uh, charles Ousu, who were deployed to come and assist the committee people from the presidency were selling excavators he narrated how his own secretary charles bisu if you remember in fact that one we saw it gafili gadochi counting bundles of money tasting saliva and counting corrupt money this was a secretary to the uh, my, the, the ministerial committee from Charles this was a presidential staffer working at the presidency and president akufado sat unconcerned and you think he doesn't know anything about these bundles that were being counted you think he doesn't know anything about the bulldozers and excavators that are being used in these forest reserves and my saying sectors. he lost his eye Look, over them if you put pieces of circumstances together you would arrive at no other conclusion than to conclude that president akufado himself is a galamse campaign to arrive at the fact that dr baumia himself is a galamse campaign to arrive at the fact that someone like charles nitego tego at presidential staffer is a galamse mafia to arrive at no other conclusion that someone like gabi asari uh, is a galamse mafia to arrive at no other conclusion that someone like lord Komi and captain koda are galamse campaigns and they will never be exonerated in this matter we will get to, to the bottom of it a bipartisan approach is the way to go and we will stand by it to our last blood because this has to do with our forests this has to do with our water bodies this has to do with our environments and no amount of intimidation in this particular matter will allow us backslide mm. uh, roland yes sir. this revolutionary uh, uh, traits is not going to scare anybody who is the revolutionary the way he's speaking like revolution kid like Roland, yeah, you're, not, you're not concerned about our forest reserves. Can I speak? When no, you're no, talking, no, I was but, quiet. But you cannot address so me please, and, and please. You, you expect me to. You be have quiet. said all that you want to say. Mr. Mr. So please, relax. Give me some respect. When you are talking and ro issuing tantrums, I'm here. So I beg you. No, but you just come down. You're me, I'm saying, please. You address. You also addressing the public. You are addressing attacking the president. So but what is the problem? Me, I don't like that. You don't like it when I tell so you please. the president. Okay, okay. So what is all this? All right. What is all this? Okay, please. This is like, like, well, Malik, and I'm that saying okay. that mm -hmm. this will not deter the fight by the government and the president on Galamse. Is the president fighting Galamse? He is fighting Galamse. No, please. That, Excuse my language. <laughs> he's sitting here mm. and he's accusing the president and the vice president of directly involving Galamse. And you take this as, as an evidence and fact he says by by no, lack please, of please 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 said. please 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 you tell this to the marines hmm. you tell this to the marines the president is not involving himself neither his vice president in galamse fight hmm. if somebody has gone to sit somewhere when then he's being secretly recorded and because of that you want to go go to bed with it and run round with it that is your problem i will continue to say and it is not different from the position of the president Fighting Galamse, it is not one man's business. Mm. You were in government. What? You were in government. Galamse did they start in our time? Are what you was saying that the state of the rivers are because please, the NDC please, is in please, opposition please, and so please, they are perpetuating please. this? Uh, Roland, in the days of His Excellency Professor Mills, may you rest in peace, my senior, Colin Zauda, was the Minister for Lands and Forestry, then came to my senior, Inusa uh, uh, Fusini. They were they were they able to fight Galamse? No. Under your Mahama, did you fight Galamse? But in our time, it has become topical because people have the nerves and the courage to be doing this. It does not mean that we should raise our hand despair. That we're taking Do you understand? Well. Yes. We'll continue to engage and to make sure we'll clear the people out. And Yet is this people go is this a clear out? Please. The please. water bodies have become Look. undrinkable. Look, go back and see go back and see when when they when 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 they went back the second time yes. and see what Since is then done. the water 
a level of uh, then they are Roland. they are level of uh, purity the has level i agree uh -huh. so we why, why will not sit down and say that because the environment has been destroyed the government led by akufado should sit down and do nothing but it's not true it's, that the president is telling me a blind eye. not at all not at all so can't you see our army the soldiers all over the place driving people working in the night <laughs> professor from paul Bozzi says that's just a charade F F professor from paul Bozzi, it's unfortunate that this thing is happening. He was asked to lead a tax force. And the tax force that he led, I was not part of it. And and excuse my language, the way you even accused Charles BCU, I thought the police had exonerated him. Yes, he has. So you sit here, you attack the gentleman that is being called for counting money with saliva. Where, where is this coming from? That is that is beside the point. You were on I, 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 yes. So the point is that Frimpong Bati has come to do his bit. He's gone. Okay. The work is still on hand to be done. Mm. So nobody should think that the, 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 the zeal and the tenacity at which government want to fight Galamse has been stopped. Do you, do you see I see, I see, I see a light at the end of the tunnel that this Galamse fight, we are not going to end it now, but definitely there will be success. At least we should commend him for a little effort that he has done. That we, see, we are saying distraction. Please, please, just, this just is not start from day one. This did not start from the one, and anybody who is involved for me, if he's prosecuted, I will support it. Yeah, we do agree with your. Position. I will support it. Anybody but your position is not the same position as uh, the uh, the president and his. Government. But the president has referred to the police CID. That's what. How long does. did it take Shraj to finish that report? Is it not from 2019? How long did it take? Yes, and I was I was watching uh, uh, Alfred's uh, Ghana tonight. It took them. I, I saw yourself. Symphony Limited. Up. Absolutely. From 2019. So the police must be encouraged to speed up with the investigation. The president cannot investigate the Galamse. He needs to refer it to the appropriate body to go and do the investigation for him. So anybody who is involved, make sure we deal with according to the law. And that is the only matter that will settle this Galamse. Mr. Titus Glover, if you, let's say you work in civil society, Tashu, you're not working in civil society, you work with, you're a politician, so, but you were working in civil society or you were in the opposition, you were seeing this, you say that this is. This is a good way to manage a Galamse activity. Roland, or get rid I will it. repeat again that the level of destruction that we're all seeing on your cameras is not the best way to go. And so, I will say again, Galamse fight is not a one-man business. It involves everybody from government to, to chiefs, you media, civil society, everybody must get his... Uh, uh, show that behind be, behind the wheel and make sure we fight this culture collectively but why you want to pretend as if you are a saint because you are in opposition in your time you run away from responsibility somebody because is fighting opposition, we didn't somebody, see somebody we didn't you, see pictures you, like you didn't see because the media was not active at the time the media because it is you the media, the media that work, brought this, that work for the opposition please, for the opposition to be voted please, into power please it is because the media at the time were not so 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 fast for the way you are doing so it is the duty of government to fight it and we are fighting the galamse for me i will tell the president not to go to sleep all those around him in the presidency who are making his work difficult and all the attacks are coming to him because they are sitting in the comfort of their beds and arsenal is going directly on the president and the vice president he must shake himself and make sure anybody who has a hand in this thing He's dealt with because I'm not comfortable the way he's been attacked by Malik and the NDC all over the place. But I can assure you, President Donado is not sleeping. He makes sure that the fight of the Galamse will not be handled by himself. Everybody must support him to fight the Galamse menace. This is you are just uh, if, if, accusing if, wrongly. Yeah, so if. if and that Glover, the president is committed. Right. If Mr. Glover is calling that people who have been mentioned or people who have been named must be investigated. I want to ask him, the bulldozer and the excavator that was being used to mine in the president's garden in his house, who should be investigated that, in that uh, particular uh, that, 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 that I want to know who, to, who should be investigated. Is he a fact? If your house, if I come to your house and I find the a gun. The report has been with the if, president. I, I, I mean, for two years, he's not said because anything if, about if, it. If, if, not because, if, if not because, if, if not because, if not because, if not because Kevin Taylor decided to leak it, would he have known? Would have been sitting there. I come to your house and I find a gun. I come to your house and I find a gun. When you go to Chebi, where the president resides, there are houses around him. And they enter with the excavator. I'm shocking. 
And that's how you that the man knows about it. I disagree with no, what no, you're no, saying. No, 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 it shock you. you can, did you go to your camera and what I, I come about. to your house and I find a gun. This is a house. propaganda something they, they want to spill out. So number one. You mean Fempo Boat is doing propaganda? What I'm saying is that for like Galam say, those houses are running the president's house. Let's go and find out. Let's start from Pombo to pull this in a report. <laughs> and that is What's, propaganda. Uh, he handed it Look, over what, to what the chief of staff. <laughs> the president has access to it for two years. was sent to the president two years. He, 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 he's, got, he's got him. Oh, his house. God, not, look, Roland. Please don't lighten the matter. Roland, 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 we have 36 um, um, pages of a report. Um, so, so, I can understand, you can I can understand how said. he's shocked because he's surprised that that will happen in broad daylight. Look, he's tried drawing a comparison and saying that under the NDC, there was Galamse and what have you. Okay, yes, I agree that there was Galamse under the NDC. But did you ever hear a single report where President Mohammed's name was mentioned in his involvement in Galamse? Did you ever hear a single expose where President Mohammed's name was mentioned to know something about any Galamse activity anywhere? But under President Akufado, every day, the man's name is being mentioned every day to the extent that his own garden, a bulldozer, is there doing a galamsey. Number two, did you ever hear that during the era of the NDC, 500 excavators got missing, were sold like granites? Did you ever hear that excavators were being sold and shared to party apparatchiks like granites? If Mr. Glover would care to know, you didn't lose galamsey sites because we are fighting galamsey. Or Galamse areas because we are fighting Galamse. You lost Galamse areas because the indigents felt that government officials, the presidency, was seizing their concessions and rather engaging in illegal mining in those areas. And I said in Trubuase, where even Captain Mahama, Major Mahama, was sadly, gruesomely murdered. I cited in Frimpon Water's report, he stated that the company was engaged in illegal activity there. That became heritage that mining. Be, absolutely. Yeah. Heritage, uh, whatever. Mining. Mining. Yeah. Heritage Mining Limited. That was from CNG Alaska to Heritage Mining Limited. And as a result of that, the people got angry and decided to attack the company and attack them on several locations. So you lost Galamse areas because the presidency, President Akufado, Dr. Baumia, they were sitting in Accra and they were seizing the people's concessions and people, government officials, the presidency was rather engaged in illegal activity there and so the people got angry. Look, I'm struggling to understand the defense of Mr. Glover in this particular matter. I'm struggling because the man has given a comprehensive report. He's mentioned names. He hasn't said the presidency. He said Lord Comey. He said, uh, 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 Captain Koda. He said, Charles Nite Kutego. He said, he's mentioned names of people we know, people the presidency know, the president's boys. He's made, okay, if the president decides that he doesn't even know any of these tapers, how about Gabriel Orchard Dako? That he's his nephew, they stay in the same house, they sleep and wake up. Uh -oh. How about a, a, an excavator that was being used in his house in Chebi? He's mentioned names, he's indicted people. He's repeatedly named a lot of people. Okay, if we want to put Professor Frempon Boate's report even aside, how about the gold mafia? How about Alistair, Alistair Matthias stating that President Akufuado is his close friend. At some point, he was even his lawyer. And he well, the official response from the presidency is he that he migrates. Was, was just huffing him. He was just bluffing. Oh, he was bluffing. <laughs> what this investigation has been conducted. He wanted to look big. So if you know he wanted to look big, subject it to a bipartisan investigation. Let them investigate it. If you want to be exonerated, if you think your hands are clean, subject yourself to an investigation body. Let us see. Let us watch. Let us hear you defend your case. That is how we'll be able to arrive. But you cannot keep running away from investigations. You cannot keep running away from, 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 from committees. And then you end up writing a statement and say, oh, he was only urban. Or he didn't know what he was talking about. Please, we won't allow this to go down the drains. I have stated that I want our water bodies to be clean again in this country. I want our forest reserves to be restocked in this country. And we cannot have a man who pretentiously said he will put his presidency on the line because of Galamse, rather being involved in the activity and, 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 and runs away from any investigation that is going to be conducted in this particular activity. We won't allow that to go down the drains. And my surprise is, Dr. Baumia, where did he learn Galamse? We know from the north how many Galamse sites are around there. So I'm surprised that all of a sudden Alaji Baumia will be involved in Galamse to the extent that he's even collecting 2.5 million. Hey, what do you know? Alaji Baumia, what do you know about Galamse? 
Galamse is in the coastal president of Kufado. Yes, he knows Galamse. He lives in a community. They do it. Chebi, I mean, the, the, the eastern region. They are Galamse side. The man is involved in it. He's been part and parcel of that process. But my surprise is how Dr. Bahamia has finally learned so much about Galamse to the extent that he even knows how to collect $2.5 million from Galamse. Yes. And Chasodi Bohan was confident to say it. I'm surprised that Alaji Bahamia is involved in these actions and these illegal activities. No, 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 no. Our presidency really? cannot be mandated this way. It cannot be clapped. It cannot, I beg your pardon, it cannot be bastardized. No, I beg your It cannot be bastardized. It cannot be denigrated. It cannot be desecrated. We, we won't allow them to muddy it. You are borrowing from Musa Fahami. Or, 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 or else we will wake up and from the president's backyard, the flag stab us. They, they will be uh, uh, an excavator that, there that, that would be engaged in illegal that, activity Roland. at the presidency. We won't Should allow this to go down the drains. and we bring water? Roland, all right. Can I have my shirt, please? Yes, please. Just two minutes and I'll go for you it. You can't give me two minutes. He went, he went no, on, on high minutes. speed. I'll give me two minutes. Dr. Balmia, his excellency, is not involving himself in Galamse. So if you want to tag him with Galamse and corruption, you, please, will you allow me to speak? You can't defend him yes. What you is going on behind this? Allow him, allow him. You you when you are, I can be radical. Oh. You can make no, 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 no. Don't think that we're going to be rough. Please, please, please. Nobody has been Tell please, him please, 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 when please, he's talking, please, 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 I'm quiet. What kind of behavior is this? Yes, it's fine. If you're not tolerant, don't come to the show. He sits there and you attack the president and the vice president. You sit up and you look at him and say, Oh, Malik, that's okay. You respect your mama and you derogate Akufado and what do you call him? Vice president. Do you see the vice president involved in Galamse? <laughs> Did you see President Kufado directly involved in Galamse? What do you mean? He says by, by implicit. But what can I implicit? <laughs> Looking at you sit there, you can all kinds of things. And he said we should just allow that. <laughs> that is not my style. With the greatest respect to your viewers. I don't like the way he's behaving. Got President you Leonardo, I, cool you know the way I do, I talk. Mm. When he's talking, I'm quiet. I'm so quiet. warn him. Oh. I don't like that. You are cool um, I am saying that, I am saying, normally. and I repeat. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The vice president attack will not wash because he doesn't do galamse. He has not involved galamse. He has not collected $5.1 million. <laughs> and I will repeat myself. The galamse fight is not one man's fight. If you want to run route and run politics with it, that, that is your problem. How is this politics? So please, please, you had your turn as government. What did you do in the fight against galamse? You have a, 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 what do you call it, a presumptive leader moving around. Can I even give you a statement, a, what do you call it, a policy statement? All he's saying is making mockery of Akufado and all that. You said you've been what? You've been a, a, an now, assembly man? All of a sudden, Please. NDC and Jomama is the, he, are the corporate. He, he's here, he's attacking the vice president and the president. The president put he has been an assembly man. Line he to, has been a, a what do you call it, an MP for 12 program. years. He has been a deputy minister. He has been a minister. He has been a vice president, acting president. He has been a president. And now, what? He what, should what, tell what, us. What, why are you, what, why are you undertaking, I need to go the, because, why, why are you because undertaking because argument of I, equalization? No, please. I will not sit down for him to denigrate and attack the That's president. That's why the NDC was voted out. It doesn't matter. Because so it long as that is your candidate and you want to attack the Dr. Obama, I will not sit there to allow him to go, to go, to go, to go on, 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 on,
done, what is in our hands. So let's leave the dead man to rest in his grave. There's a problem on hand. How do we collectively fight the menace of Galamsey? I have said time and number. Galamsey is not one man business. It involves all of us. Yes, it is in the time of President Kufado that we are seeing more of this galaxy being done. But effort is being done. Where's the effort? Not sit down. All our river bodies are destroyed. Please, please, no, so where's please, the effort? Please. People can see that they are please. destroyed. Where's please. the effort, sir? So are you saying that we should, we should stand aloof and say and no, The say president should about admit it. they are concerned but that the president has shouldn't, admitted, the, shouldn't the president he admit admitted, that he has, that he has failed? What do we have As far failed? as the galaxy fight is concerned. He has not failed. That should rather encourage him to fight more. Since that, 2017. I'm telling you, that should rather encourage him together with all the team around him. Have, and people have, have you food. read the report? Please, I haven't read the report. I'm okay. confronted with what I'm seeing. Okay, okay. Media That's, bring the topics out. That's we'll right. Please read the report. Let me so, push so, it to no, you. No, please, I'm talking. Don't interject me. So what I'm saying is that the issue we have in our hand, the president cannot say that he has failed. He sees this as a challenge, and this challenge must be fight at home. That's why you must encourage him and give him to, to fight either, to make sure we fight the issue about Galamse. Why do you have to say that he has failed? That's why you should go to sleep. Not at all. I would rather encourage him that Mr. President, fight on. Those who want to make politics, when in 2020 elections, they go to the Galamse area and tell the people, go, do the Galamse and, and, and vote for your mama. <laughs> when you can't, we allow you to like, do it. Do you think what, that what, the way what, you're what, what communicating in relation to how the president has acted and his commitment and his government's commitment towards the fight against Galamse, um, Perhaps is is apt for for public. Rola, public are you are you in this in this in this studio? Yes, please. So what I'm talking, are you saying it's not? It's, it's, it's because you are saying that everything is fine. Did I say that? Are you here? I'm here. Did you did you listen you said to the what president I said? is fighting? Ah, but you are saying that I should admit that the president has failed. No, no, I haven't said that. You said so. No, because you are a third discussant. You said the president oh, should admit no, that he I'm has failed. Right. And you. I'm telling you, do you think the president please. has succeeded? So I'm telling you mm -hmm. that. The challenges in the Galamse should not discourage the president from fighting the, 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 on Galamse. It means that he must stand up and keep pushing. Because one person cannot fight Galamse, and you want him to, to, be, to, be, to, to, to say that because he's the president, so he alone should face the, the, the challenge. Allah no. Allah. So all that I'm saying is that please, without due respect to our viewers, we need everybody. The media, you've been so fantastic. The president had everybody, has please. everybody. So, Ronan, are, you, the water saying, bodies are, are you saying that? Or is that not so? I, I Please, I've put the report to you. I've put you the report to you. So, so, so Roland, would you Because the president respect. put his presidency on the line. That's please, Roland, would you due respect? Yes, please. And let me repeat myself. And listen to me. And listen to me, God. President Kufado sees the Galaxy fight and not his fight. It is not his only fight. This fight will involve all of us. Yes, the, the vegetation is being destroyed. Yes, the water body is being destroyed. So does it mean that he should not do anything about it? He hasn't said so. And all those have said, whose name has been mentioned, when the committee of inquiry, whether a bipartisan, whether the police investigation, all those whose names have been mentioned in the Frimpong Waters report, they will be invited. So whatever they know about this galamse destruction of environment, wouldn't they be questioned? Mm -hmm. Yes, they would. So clearly, I don't see the, 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 the rush mm. to allow the investigative bodies to, to, for them to do their work. And I've told you, the gentleman who took Frimpong Barton to Shiraj, mm. he took Shiraj how many years? From 2019, three years. We're in 2020, 2023, mm. about four years. Mm. They've just concluded with their report. So I want to appeal to the police, the IGP and the CID team, they should speed up because the president has referred this galaxy yeah, uh, so that we'll be able to ascertain the veracity of those who have involved. As for the destruction, we are seeing it. But it's in the but we should. Yes, it is. Yes, it is you there. work with the president. So, we will not sit down and say that there's but nothing the CID. Just straight away write it. Write the what? Well, uh, you see, I'm, I'm, I'm really not worried when Mr. Glover mentions President Mahmoud's name. Even if, it's a, yes, well, even if it's a hundred times. You know why? Because Mr. Glover is not an anti-corruption agency. My name is Mr. Titus Glover is not a gold mafia. So I will not be worried. But I'm worried when Alistair Matthias, a gold mafia, a money launderer, a criminal, a gold smuggler, 
mentions President Akufo-Addo's name and says he's my friend, my close friend. I'm worried. Yes, and I need to be worried. I'm worried. When an expose in Anas number 12 mentions President Akufo-Addo's name to be in Anas's packet, my president, in somebody's packet, because of $3 million, I'm worried. I'm worried. When Galamze Economy captures my vice president, Alaji Baumia, with of a, taking a sum of about $2.5 million because of Galamse, I'm worried. I'm worried. When my own, the appointee of the president, Professor Frimpong Barton, gives a report indicting people of the presidency, mentioning the president's name, I'm worried. Why is it that it is only in illegal acts? It is only in corrupt exposés? It is only in Galamse reports? That President Akufado's name will be the head. Maybe. Dr. Baumia will appear in well, it. And Mr. people says of the that presidency will line up in just, that report. Uh, media, Why? media investigation. Why is it that you have two people and the man you attempt playing the comparison with? When you mention schools, you hear President Mahama. When you mention hospitals, you hear President Mahama. When you mention roads, you hear President Mahama. But when you mention Galamse, Akufado one. When you mention corruption, Akufado two. When you, why? And, and this is the kind of comparison you want us to do. And we mention him, and uh, uh, Mr. Glover, you act like... Uh, 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 I mean, Titus Glover. Uh, uh, Mr. Titus Glover, you act like, uh, 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 not to attack you, but I mean, like a witch that has been surrounded by Holy Ghost fire. I mean, we will continue to mention President Akufado's name in this matter. We will continue to mention Dr. Babia until they President repent. And I agree with Mr. Glover. He's my senior brother. When he says it is an all uh, 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 and everybody's fight, and we need to all fight it. Mr. Glover, we have all dedicated our lives in fighting and we will continue to do that. And I will continue to fight it. But one man is making the work difficult. Who? And that man is President Akufado. Oh. He needs to he soften the work for us. That. He needs to leave the Galamse sites. He needs to disband his Galamse forces and allow us, allow you the media, allow we the opposition parties do our work. And the first of such works it's a bipartisan approach in this investigation. So if Mr. Glover wants all of us to come together, because you cannot have a free-for-all Galamse fight and want us to have a free-for-all anti-Galamse fight, it won't work. The free, those engaged in that free-for-all Galamse fight are people of the presidency led by President Kufado and Alaji Baumia. We those engaged in the free-for-all anti-Galamse fight mm. are opposition members, media men, and ordinary people. And so if the president wants us to have trust that he has repented from his old ways, he should ensure that we have a bipartisan he, approach he keeps in this saying, particular what has matter. What the president done? Is it by inference, the commitment? You see, Mr. Glover, ask okay. your question. No, that's and, okay. And, and, that's and, okay. That's okay. Let him ask. Um, um, yes, sir. Please wrap up. It, looks, it looks as if Malik will not stop his continuous attack on the president, even though I've said any time. He's not corrupt, and I repeat, together with the vice president. You cannot sit here and assume that because his name has been mentioned by somebody sitting somewhere being recorded then you lump him as being corrupt we are here your mama was so cheap that you took a ford 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 what do you call it a, 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 a explorer they okay. passed it through the border in burkina burkina paga and he was country. investigated please please, please. Was exonerated. oh please mm -hmm. so you can throw punch but you can't receive points because you have mouth. Oh, uh, so so you you could not even tell anybody. You sneak into the country, and you say what? You are clean. You remember Majaro? You remember Majaro? So you think your mama is as clean as snow? Don't let it even go there. There is no amount of attacks, corrupt attacks that you, 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 you try to lump the president and the vice president, that wash. I concede that the fight against Galamse has been Herculean. I concede that some names have been mentioned in people around His Excellency, the president. I also concede that when this matter came before the president... Names, many names. I don't, I don't, I don't, I have no problem. His Excellency, the president, has referred to the police. That is the forum and the platform that will help the president in decision taking. Hmm. And that one to the president has aired. So everything the president just puts it to say. I but can he investigate himself, Roland Walker and Malik Basim Talib? Can the president investigate himself? The only thing he can do religiously is to refer to the appropriate body to hmm. do the investigation for him. That will enable him to take the decision. This one too, you are impatient. 
and you're attacking me and you're calling all names, I want to encourage the president. He should not see the Galante fight as an easy fight. Knowing him as a strong person, this should rather encourage him. If you think that members of his team are found wanting, he should pull them out and put the right people in the front line. Probably not that he thinks. You understand? They have been you know, and put, put them out. That shows that he and needed I, to knowing him with this fighting spirit and fight this Galamsey fight. For me, we have not finished the fight against Galamsey. It is quite big and those involved and all that. Those ordinary people who are collecting the sand and throwing and all those things, they are just laborers. <laughs> but the red people are there. They are with the presidents and according to... They the should deal with them. So because what? all this attack is coming to you. you think it is easy to come here to defend? That's what I'm, I'm surprised. Not I'm surprised that you are shielding all this. I'm not shielding. You are doing well. I'm not shielding. But I know the president is doing his best together with the vice president. So you, Basin Tale, and you and your mama and all your people, if you think you can attack the president and the vice president, that would not wash. We have a problem in our hand. In your time, what did you do all to right. fight Galamsi? All right. We have to end the discussion. So, but there's news that's, that's coming. Malik, we've ended the... Uh, because this one, it, it hasn't... Fin we, 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 the news has not closed. It, 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 it's, no, it's, it's, it's a, it's a, it's, it's, it's a, a running story. Of, absolutely. It's a running story. So, so relax. And that's why that that I wanted to assure Mr. No, Malik, 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 no, Malik, 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 it's going to be that bipartisan mm. investigation into that matter. And it will surely come to pass. And that's going to be the beginning of NDC's fights now oh, against President Kufado and his Galamse oh, Mafia and Ken Pence. There's a letter dated the, the 25th first. of April. From where? Uh, from the President. Mm -hmm. uh, appointment of new Chief Justice of the Republic. And he says, I decided to begin the process of appoint the appointing uh, or the appointment now. Article um, 1441 of the Constitution, uh, which governs the appointment of the Chief Justice, requires that I first consult with the Council of State before seeking the approval of Parliament. Okay. Consequently, I'm nominating Justice Gertrude Araba Isaba Tokonu. Tokonu, a member of the Supreme Court, as the new Chief Justice. And so the President is sending this to the chairperson of the Council of State, Nana Otuo Sirebo II. So we have um, nominated for the position of Chief Justice, Justice Gertrude Araba Isaba Tokono. I congratulate uh, leadership for this new role. Uh, I was privileged to vet her when she was nominated into the Supreme Court. <coughs> And, and from my track record as a practicing lawyer, then through the junior courts, all the way to the high court, the appeal court, and to the Supreme Court, she has really distinguished herself so well. This is a tough just, uh, chief, chief justice we've had in the Fourth Republic, i.e. Uh, you mean Lady uh, Chief Justice? Lady Chief Justice, uh, uh, what's her name? Well, my mother, Georgina Wood. Georgina Wood. Then the Bamford Adu. Bamford, no, Bamford Adu wasn't the Chief Justice. She was a member of the Supreme Court, mm. but not the Chief Justice. Until she was made the Speaker of Parliament. No, Speaker then of Parliament. the Sophia Kufu. Sophia Kufu. And until now, it's uh, Madame Gertrude. Uh, we wish her all the best. And um, the President believes in a feminism that will give him women more role to play in, in, in the governance of this country. So it's, I believe that when Parliament resumes, uh, she'll be subjected to the vetting process and I don't know that they take over uh, office as so you believe that she, she, she can deliver. Job. She can deliver. I wish her all the people best. People thought that you, Uni Kulendi could have also. Well, he did not get okay. and the opportunity has called to. Uni is quite good. All of them, in fact, all of them at the bench, the Supreme Court are qualified okay. to be the Chief Justice. But they'll be only one person. Mm. So I wish her all the best. Uh, Roland, all I will say is that she shouldn't repeat the mistakes of her predecessors. When she gets the nod, she should lift the torch of the nation high above every politician, including her appointer. And she should subject herself to the full laws of this country in implementing them as well and ensuring that where she's supposed to whip, she whips. And where she's supposed to protect, she protects. It should be higher than her appointer. And this may make her the best.
I wish I will. Malik Basintali is a deputy communication officer for the NDC. Former um, Tema East Member of Parliament, Daniel Ni Kwate Titus Glover. Um, he was also a former deputy minister of transport, but currently a deputy managing director for Valco. And uh, he has to uh, be going. He has some other important uh, issues to attend to. But let me just read a couple of your messages. For a fish to rot, it starts from the head. Titus Glover should agree that the president is to blame. And that's from uh, Tio Adai. Now, Tio Adai, uh, well, we also have this one from... Um, okay, so I have this one. It says, today... Titus has surprised me. Seriously, no amount of legalities and justification can repair our environment. And then we have um, from Dr. Park, Honorable Glover's argument do not make um, the issues well articulated. Is it the NDC who also told those listed in the Frimpon Boateng report to do Galamse? And those are some of your comments as well. Well, so we're taking a break. When we come back, We'll also tell you what's going on with the toll booths just around Kaswa because uh, Bella is there and also bring you the latest posts and then the latest in entertainment. Stick and stay. Water is life. Water gives life. Oja, 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 oja. It's <laughs> for Malik. Uh, Basintal in a titles, a new quartet, titles Glover, and I'm got to Canona. I also ever do be a na I didn't know any iron. Now, also in Tokan Casano, a flower, not any Akashika. Because at Summer Malik, I mean, I won't, I won't, but at a titles Glover, I saw body friends, I am a and a proof of the Nina Crawford Hose, or support your papa, work I chair and titles Glover. One man post, one man post full frock run. I will have my post of run. I will be defending the champion. Now, on him, actually, crown, oh, yeah, that was glory in whom I know in whom I was it. A one way a galaxy, the other side of the shallow or two hours. I did not see a good for the one who see a video. See, I defense no one bomb and I will break or see what body defense, defense body air deal, a body defense, and this angle for now. Almost say, Sumo, I'm a mere galaxy. I was saying, sometimes you know you defend the defenseless. I feel they want to challenge the iron and the apaska. She knew how bad we are feeling. We do want to move. Oh, challenge! Is there a part yet? We the judgment had the power. Ghana has to be so be communicate our mind, people. Because challenge, I didn't know who he, who he. We were defending ya, the thing ya, scandal for fraud. They said we defend you, mo. The thing ya, no more say ya the fraud. Yes, who defend you? Ukraine defend you. Oh, and the ni ni kwaje titles global. Any Malik na yako yako tio mungu kano pato. Maya huu wajin chile yako comment section. Oh, maya huu se Malik unu Malik ya adui ana unu ni ni kwaje titles global na ya adui. Because assembly na kasa ni assembly ya ehurupa ehurupa because se si se nshio mo nambi mimi mse damu kano watu mba muzi sobi nambi si nshio mbe kachira wase. Then to me, what in dinner in the mind upon the new future, as a becatcher or said, then to me, why in dinner in the professor from Pong White on our minister, one way minister, and one natural resources now, or the new month to one or no, no, I said, Galam Seno, last half house on a yen. What I said, and the way any means be I read media can say, and believe in an answer will be an answer will be, sir. No, the Ocano, and no, 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 I know I didn't turn on independent TV there. Who they are now? They are same. My own home, I didn't turn ever and same way in our home. Yes, and now first time I subscribe to channel. No, if I want to say about Adam and Susan, they be a video be a tour. We be a first person. I should like a video. No, my like a video. No, like no, yeah, but like a video. No, my the one CP for the support. I'm in Sherman. Mama, what I say, my pen dream TV, pen dream TV, dear, I see them. You pull.